I'm Robbie. I'm Cody. Uh, tonight we're going to be reviewing High West Whiskey's Double Rye. Uh, this whiskey is one of my favorite whiskeys, and we want we chose to do it tonight because tonight we're also going over our trip to Utah, visiting High West Distillery and the saloon, which was awesome. Definitely recommend anybody who is in Utah or around that area going through that area. Check out the distillery. Great people, uh, great atmosphere. Uh, we learned a lot of uh, different things that's just not with the whiskey, but even what High West and the saloon does. Like it's um, just something unique. And I was actually taken back, and I'll tell you guys about the story <laughs> here in a second, but it, it was just fun to, even though it was a mistake, it was fun to hear all the, um, you know, different things they do at the distillery. And it really makes it, I don't know, what would you say? Just like a little bit more homey. Yeah. It's not like overwhelming or anything. Yeah, no, they got, a, you know, a restaurant there too. So that's really nice. People can, people can sit outside and do their thing kind of out on the patio area. And it's just a beautiful, you know, place. So um, you can even, when it's uh, wintertime, you can even snow uh, ski there. So yeah. you ski right up to the uh, High West Distillery there. Yeah. Which was really cool. And they had a, uh, Places you could stay at, uh, actual yeah, um, yeah, like, had, uh, like houses cabins. and condos, things like that. Yeah, exactly. Cabins. Um, yeah. Which, honestly, I wish I would have looked more into because I think it would be cool to get a night there or something. Yeah. Yeah. At least but, a night would be cool there. Uh, uh, but yeah, man, we got the the High West uh, double rye for the your thirtieth uh, birthday. Thirtieth birthday. High visiting West. Utah you know we were just there so it's kind of uh the reason why we're doing another high west uh plus we love yeah. you know we both like high west and enjoy oh, it great so, whiskeys uh, which that was what i was going to ask you uh, before we get started what was your favorite whiskey we got to try there and you know well uh out of the four so we got to try the uh this the double rye the prairie and the campfire and then the um rendezvous. The rendezvous yeah rendezvous is you know really good it's the most expensive one well actually that and campfire are the yeah, two, yeah. two pricer i think they're both kind of around 70 bucks yeah give or take but um you know i kind of liked I like Rendezvous, but I kind of like the Campfire, just because it's Well, the that, Campfire had that scotch... That scotch vibe, and it's also, you know, uh, you know, it's an American whiskey, but it's, you know... A scotch influence, and you could definitely yeah. taste it. it there's a, uh, they do a little peated, there's some uh, mm -hmm. peat with it, which I enjoy. I love scotch. Um, that's definitely... I think I enjoyed it because I ha hadn't had something like that in a while that yeah that, and it was just different um so anyways i bought one of those bottles i was kind of bummed they didn't have a couple of the whiskeys i was hoping they would have I yeah wanted, there was a few we wanted i, I wanted to get uh robbie uh the midnight dram uh, uh for his birthday but uh they didn't have it um unfortunately they had it all over the place but no nothing for sale <laughs> so um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then they had, you know, of course, Yippie Kaye, which is still to me probably, if I'm ranking High West, my number one whiskey uh, for High West. Um, that you've had. Yes. So, But even in like second place, I would almost do Rendezvous with, gosh, right there with the campfire. Like I, I, I can't separate the two because they are so different, but they're, you know, I like them both. Yeah. And then once you kind of get down to the cheaper bottles, Double Rye and Camp or Campfire, uh, the American Prairie are just both phenomenal, in my opinion. They're great bang for your buck. Um, yeah. If you want something warm and it's wintertime, fall, whatever, fucking Double Rye is really good. And then, gosh, uh, I, I, I loved American Prairie when we reviewed it. Made a great old fashioned, probably one of the best um, out I there. I, I, to be honest, I had I had this one. Uh, you brought it for my my thirtieth birthday. You got yeah. it, um, but I haven't had it since then. Well, I mean, obviously at the steroid, but it's a little different. We weren't like 
getting down into it, tasting. Yeah, it. which I kind of wish we would have drank a little bit more of those, but um, we had so many bottles of. So I'm excited other... to to do the review on this one. Uh, I think it's from what you said. I bet you it's probably going to be one of our top, uh, at least old fashioned ones for sure. Yeah, and the cool thing is it's going to be in the same category as uh, Allegiant and the American Prairie. So, um, yeah, Allegiant. We have so many in that category now. That's a big. That's a big category. It really um, is. Jefferson. We got the what? What else? So many in that one. Uh, <laughs> price range for you guys in our categories. How we rank it again is by price and alcohol percentage. So the three. The first number, the oh, three, is good, the price. Uh, to inter- not to interrupt, but the the good. This is going to go right up against Lead Slinger Rye. Oh, nice! So this is a good um, competition right now between the Lead Slinger, which we loved, um, uh, Rye Whiskey. It's in the same category, so it's going to be. It's going to be that. So these two are going to be a good comparison. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so we do have a rye rye in the same category as this. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So I got it here. It was thirty seven dollars. Um, I know on their so on their High West booklet that I was able to get once I joined their club, uh, they say thirty five dollars. But at the same time, this was last year. Uh, end of 2019 whenever I did all this so this is older so price could have probably changed from 35 but 37 is yeah. pretty much what it is for me and I was actually looking back at that for the American Prairie and the American Prairie is right there too um, for me in California uh, it varies though it does vary it varies kind of a fluctuates from like the cheapest I've seen it and that's really 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 cheap was 32 okay the, the mid range is 34.99 so 35 bucks and then yeah oh like, yeah so like 38 bucks is kind of like the yeah. higher I've seen it so well and even uh, for the American Prairie we had it from 34 to 42 on the price range. So it just fluctuates. Honestly, it depends on the state yeah. um, you're going to fall into. Um, I so think it, for this one, I would say 37. It's yeah. Right so there. it's right at the even plus tax at $34. You're going to be at that $37 range um, yep. or 38, you know, so 3.3. So same category, Legion. Uh, and you talked about the lead slinger rye, yeah. American, uh, High West American Prairie. So it's good that we have another rye in the category. And I love lead slinger. That's one of my favorite, other favorite whiskeys. I love those that these was two companies. A nice uh, sipper. Yeah. Sure. So now since I know this is going up against it, it may be a little tougher to judge. And <laughs> you know, so something we also got to consider: this is a double rye. Yeah. Um, it's two, Why don't you tell them? Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's two whiskeys that are aged about two years, and they're blended together to make this uh, double rye. And it's supposed to be really spicy. They want it to be a uh, spicy rye, and um, so they blend these two whiskeys together, and uh, they ended up coming out at about 46% alcohol. So for people that don't know, uh, 46% alcohol and um yeah i mean that's a little bit of it about the bottle it's, yeah uh, so we do have something to tell you guys we did learn at high west was uh their batch number so we were really confused by it and i don't know if you could see mine but mine's 21 d 14 cody actually has 21 d 13 so mine is made a day after cody's but the first number or set of numbers. It's probably bottled. The, it's probably bottled the day after. Yeah. So yeah. it was bottled, but it's um, the year is or the first two numbers is the year. So twenty one coincides. So if you have twenty, it was uh, bottled in twenty twenty. If it was nineteen, it was bottled in two twenty nineteen. Uh, the letter so D is 
the way they do do it is alphabetically for the month and it goes in numerical for the alphabetical. So it's A, B, C, D, which D is the fourth letter in the alphabet, fourth month of the year is April. So this was modeled in April. And then the last number is the day. So April 14th, 2021, Cody had April 13th, 2021. So these two honestly could have been from the same barrel. Yeah. For all we know. Um, know yeah. They're they're very close together, which is funny because you, wh when did you get that double rye? In California? Uh, I, yeah, I got Okay, those. I didn't know if you got one in Utah and brought it back. No, Kelsey bought a little baby one back. Okay. Um, but I, I got this one a couple days ago. Okay. So yeah, I just got mine uh, literally today. So that's actually... <laughs> pretty cool that we got two bottles that are that close together um so yeah yeah that's I'm getting, cool i'm ready to try ready this for this thing shoot oh oh man you had the bad luck on the american prairie didn't you yeah the american prairie broke the cap uh the cork broke off in the bottle oh yeah bottle. so um we also cody and i both have whiskey glasses so high west distillery park city utah Definitely Park City is gorgeous. Go check it out. These glasses are cool. They're very similar to the bottle. They're made by the same uh, people in Mexico. All right, well, let's pour this thing. All right, so, and to let you guys know, while Cody's pouring that, we let this breathe. Tonight, we're going to be reviewing uh, the double rye, neat. And of course, we'll put a little bit of water droplets here in a second on top of just trying it normal. And then uh, we're going to try it on the rocks go into probably old fashioned or the, our fourth drink that we're going to do tonight is actually from high west website and yep. it's called dead man's boots and it will go into the recipe once we get to it but it sounds pretty good yeah so i'm pretty excited to everybody honestly it was kind of disappointing because the two drinks i ended up getting <laughs> they were just so mediocre, and I tried everybody else's, and everybody else's I remember was way were, better. They were like, oh, and tiny. they were so small. <laughs> oh man, they were tiny. I was yeah. so mad about that. Everybody else got a giant glass. I was like, yeah, can't wait for mine. And they hand me mine, and it's like, Eep. here you go. I went rogue. Thanks. I went rogue. I just got whiskey on the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Definitely get that spice. It's got the spice. We're right up my nose. Oh, <laughs> that's a bummer. That honestly, I do enjoy the double rye a lot more when it's cold, but the flavor to it is so good. It has a really nice. Uh, it's a warming sensation. Warming. It's obviously due to the spice and everything, but it's kind of like a floral so. yeah it, but the flavors that you get are I, it, it's just a good really whiskey. it's really spicy i mean they did a real good job on making it yeah. spicy i uh, you definitely get that spice right off the bat yeah. curious how this one does with water yeah i'm gonna take another sip before i do that Has a nice um, tingling in the throat. Yeah, um, honestly, I get it right on the back of the tongue. Even on my lips, a little bit, I get that nice little uh, tingle, yeah. tingle on the throat, which is, you know, I like that. I don't, I don't think it's a bad thing. Yeah. Um, oh, something we didn't talk about was the smell. Um, so the smell didn't change much from the first time well, to gotta, the water. I gotta pour a little bit. I haven't done the water drugs yet. So. Let me know if you catch that. I honestly it didn't change to me. Maybe slight and made it a little bit. I was getting sweeter. like uh, a florally uh, smell off the other one, kind of like yeah. 
Um, mm. I don't know. I don't know if that's. I, I think I get a little bit more on this one. I smell a little bit of pepper, maybe. You know. Yeah, a little like, bit. Just definitely a sweet taste with spice. Yeah, a sweet. Uh, or a sweet smell with a and a, like pepper or spice, something. Something that tickles the nose hairs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That actually calmed down the spiciness. It's spicy. It is spicy. It is, but the, again, the water droplets, I think, made it smoother and helped calm down the <laughs> spiciness where it didn't, you know, burn so long going down yeah yeah um, um i don't uh, smell the flor fl floral now with the water droplets just the see i get more floral with the water droplets yeah yeah like, I, guess, I guess yeah it's still there um and i get I, the floral with a like a hint of spice that like i said something that kind of tickles your nose hairs. definitely the spice and then you get like I almost felt pepper a little bit, maybe a little, and then I almost got like uh, a sweet at the end of the smell, like uh, like a caramel or like a uh, something. It's probably the cinnamon. Sweet. Oh yeah, that they talk about. They talk about cinnamon. Cinnamon. That's right. Yeah. So that's one thing. The little booklet. Uh, notes of cinnamon, mint, followed with by. Uh, Oh, but uh, botanicals. Oh, well, maybe that's the plural. Um, yeah. Posted. So this is actually a pretty cool chart. When you do sign up for High West, I know I said it, but they do send you this book it, booklet. But it's not. It's not going to be double rye. It's just whatever whiskey you want to say is your favorite one. At the time, I was like, you know, I really enjoy double rye. I was on a double rye kick. It was winter time, so I just picked that one. Honestly, I wish I could go back and say the Yippee Kaye. That way I had it in here. Yeah. You will be reviewing first, sir. Good. I just finished. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's a tough one. If it is. I, um, I'm trying to not do what I normally do and score it a little high because... Yeah. It's one of my favorite whiskeys, so I'm trying to think. But I'm also like trying to think whenever I I get this bottle again, it's definitely gonna be winter time. Yeah, it it's might be it fall. May, I would winter. say it'd probably go up a couple ticks if it was like colder weather for sure. Yeah, I well, and that's the majority of the time I've ever had it. Whenever I had it in the summer last year, it was good. It was just like too warm yeah yeah and when you're in the heat it's just not that appealing so yeah with that being said i was kind of going down but i'll say a 4.2 instead of a four in my opinion on the just because if we did try this in winter it's a solid 4.2 but obviously right now it, it is warming i i just have that warming this and I'm, I run hot, so I don't like that feeling. That's why I was going to say a four. Yeah. Uh, I like this one. Um, I would say for me, it was more like a three point eight. Okay. Um, just, just uh, you know, a little hot, little, little. Little spicy, but I mean, I like it. And then um, part of me is kind of like, uh. and I was thinking about how much I enjoyed um, the lead slinger. Yeah. Right? And I really enjoyed the amount of spice that was in that. And then I really enjoyed how smooth and delicious that one was. Uh, see, that one, that one's unique. Um, yeah, it's 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 a delicious, smooth. 
Right. Yeah. I, the fighting spirit is just, you know. And that's one we gave. We gave that a four point two. So yeah, four point two, and I gave it a four point four. So I was even a couple notches again, but I would agree with a four point zero yeah. because it, with our overall score, yeah, on that I would say yes, that is better. But I would be willing to compare them in the winter time, even even though I I enjoy the lead slinger probably year around, so yeah. it would probably win. Now but... th- this one. Um... This one's going to be better on ice than Lead Singer, I think. Oh, yeah. I, so, I, I, I mean, agree with that. Uh, so that's just my opinion right now. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah. So we, we agree on a 4.0. So um, yeah. No, I think that's a good solid score um, for this whiskey. I, I enjoy the flavor. The flavor, so much going on. Like, I get a nice, there's, it's smooth, but then it has that spice with the kick. Yeah. You feel it going down your chest. Again, if it was cold out, I would be enjoying that. I'd be like, this is my whiskey, you know? Yeah. But right now, you know, it was a pretty hot day. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, I'm trying yeah. to be hot. So, like we always say, you know, the more you're drinking it, it gets a little, it's going to get a little bit better. Oh, well, yeah. Um, so, and as we go through the night, it's probably going to be one of those ones. Hopefully that gets better, like Legion. Legion's one of those whiskeys we yeah. were able to drink together in Utah. On the- yeah, and uh, uh, I remember, I think we had a couple of reviews that I read that if you let Legion air out a little bit, like halfway down the bottle, let it air out yeah. a little bit, it gets even better. Yeah. And it was. The one we had in Arkansas, I brought, it was like halfway, I remember. Or, I mean, yeah. in uh, uh, Utah. Three quarters. Or, yeah. yeah, Utah. Yeah, like three quarters. I know um, which one. Yeah, it, it, it was better than, like, just opening it up and getting right into it. Um, oh, I would agree with that. You you uh, you ready to – we're going to go to the ice, aren't we? And, yeah, so we'll do uh, on the rocks next. Uh, um, I think that's just again natural. for anybody that's new to listening to us. Uh, our reviews are at a five, so four out of five is a pretty good score. It's a dang good score. Um, you know, High West. This one's going to be probably one of our good ones. For sure. Oh yeah, I I think so. And again, so we do, like Cody said, out of five, and we we're, again we're trying it four different ways. Yeah. Um, we're just not trying to need and calling it quits uh we're gonna do on the rocks and plus we do the water droplets as well it's almost like two in one but uh yeah yeah we'll uh we'll uh let's jump into the rocks bro all right i'm excited for that one huh all right so we got our uh, high west on ice the double rye and we've let it sit just a little bit so it's nice and chilled uh it's got a nice color to it and the smell is, we were just talking about it, it smells really botanical, flory, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Like it definitely more, comes out on the ice. Yeah, or definitely on the rocks. more like a plant or some, some, something like that. Um, it smells good for sure. Um, but uh, what do you think, Robbie? Think it's going to be better? Yeah. Let's just try it. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers bro. Wow. Oh. Mm. I like the little the little bite at the end. We're like kind of like towards the end. It's really nice. I like that spice little uh, kick at the end there. Wow. I like it on the ice. The, the flavor has stayed, but like the spice has calmed down. Calmed down. down. And calmed down. It's uh, at a delicious kind of level. It's like a oh yeah, not overbearing. It's like right at a nice spice level. Honestly, um, this is perfect for this kind of night on the yeah. rocks. Uh, for this whiskey, I would definitely recommend if you're gonna drink it during the summer, drink it on the rocks. This is this is a great whiskey. I mean, anytime, uh, anytime, shit. 
Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like... Yeah, uh, yeah, especially, yeah, definitely, yeah. Because I, I do notice, especially now, I drink more stuff on the rocks while it's hot, and then during winter, I hardly touch anything on the rocks, and everything is neat. Yeah. So Definitely. I'll do a couple things, but, like, my ice cubes just stay in there. Sweet, man. It's a nice sipper on ice. Oh, it is. And you know me, I like ice. I like my cold drinks, so uh, this is cool. It's a nice one to have for uh, sipping on the rocks. Uh, All right. You want to uh, take us from here? Uh, yeah. Um, Again, I, again I really enjoy how the uh, spices are just a little bit toned down. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, you still have a lot of the flavors. Again, it's got that real botanical uh, flavor to it, which probably yeah. doesn't sound appealing, but really it is. It's refreshing. Honestly, it adds um, a lot of flavor to it, which... It's, I mean, it's still got, you know, you still get a little bit of the, the sweet, but not as much um, sweet to it. The normal normal whiskeys you get a lot of times you're gonna get some rye some uh, yeah. some vanilla or not some vanilla some caramel and and, and so like a lot that. of different but flavors I, I'm not really that. getting any of that on this um, a no. little little bit of sweet but not much um, I would um, I would say for this one on uh, on the rocks it's it's probably I would say closer to four point. I'd say four point two on the rocks. I like this one on the rocks. Okay, so we're gonna we're just gonna stay a couple points. I, I gave it a four point four, but I was also thinking, okay, I gave my last one a four point two, which I'm 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 pretty st like for our overall score, four point oh is great. Four point two. I I'm just trying to think about winter time or whenever it's cold out. I think this whiskey is going to be that much better neat. On the rocks, holy shit, I think it's phenomenal. Um, so 4.2, honestly, I won't disagree with as far as the overall score. Oh, you want to put it at a... Uh, yeah, yeah, I put 4.4, okay. but I think it's a 4.2. Um, I'm just trying to think of what I gave, what it, like, gave it yeah. all neat. So... Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 great. It's uh, you know, ain't gonna be you're not gonna be disappointed. I would say, especially for the price point. Um, like you said, I got this whiskey. And you tried it for your birthday. Obviously, it wasn't like a gift, but we, uh, you know, I got got a bottle for you, and it was yeah. it's a yeah. good whiskey. It is a good gift whiskey, though. Yeah, yeah. It was, Honestly, and, and we, remember, I had never had high west up until yeah. So at that time, um, um, so that was cool. But so this is this category is a very good category because it is ch on the cheaper end. Everybody, but yeah. um, you get your bang for the buck. You yeah. really do. In this category, you do really get your bang for your buck because um, so you can. Buy a bottle that's fairly cheap and gift it to somebody, and it's a really good whiskey. I'm sure there's other bottles out there, but I'm telling you, from both High West, the Lead Slinger, uh, Legion, they're they're top notch. Like, yeah, I would I, mean, I would buy like, Legion as a gift for somebody. Yeah, for like heartbeat. not not breaking the bank kind of whiskeys they really yeah if you don't feel like spending they seem bucks, more like a 50 60 dollar bottle they do when they're not you know um yeah. so that's that's the cool thing about them um yeah solid solid whiskeys in this category i'm, I'm stoked we're, we're gonna get some bad ones for sure uh we just haven't because i don't know when <laughs> Well, yeah, I know, you know, I know we will. I'm just like this category is top notch right now. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be bummed when we do come across them. Like, back, damn it! I really would like a guest to, uh, or not a guest, uh, uh, a listener to just tell us, uh, you know, what kind of 
what whiskey to do on one of these episodes and uh, we go get it. Honestly, uh, I think we need to go out and do a whiskey we haven't tried before in this price range. Just yeah. random select and be like, hey, let's try this one. Because I, I bet we'd find one that way. Yeah. So. Um, all right. Well, are you ready to make a? I say let's do the old fashioned and finish on the old man's boot or dead man's boots. Dead man's boots. Yeah. Old man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so whatever, whatever you want to do, I'm cool with whatever. Okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, move to the old fashioned. So. Hey everybody! We just got our old fashions made for uh, High West whiskey double rye. Um, this one is, uh, I'm pretty excited for it, man. And this is... Uh, yeah, I am too. What, looking back at all the others, I was just like, wow. So it has its work cut <clears> out <throat> for it. But I think with the double rye, with that spice, I'm really hoping it makes a solid old-fashioned. It, it's definitely gonna. Um, Ooh, it has a great just smell. For all the viewers out there, uh, take a look. Can you see my ice cube? It's so clear. I got this uh i'll have to post the the brand of it but it's like a ice making kit for if you want really clear ice cubes and it actually works so um I'll have no, to post, it's pretty I'll, cool i'll have to post but one of those but i gotta just, say i don't know if anybody could see my ice cube like it's damn near <laughs> invisible like look at that shit <laughs> all those air bubbles <laughs> <laughs> all um, right man. dude cheers i really got a good orange all right, All right. Let's do Cheers. This. Cheers. Oh, I love it. Fucking A. Oh, at the end. Yes. Oh, the end's good. So this is, um, yeah, this is delicious. Um, even though you know how I always talk about cinnamon. I I I I uh I don't mind the little bit of cinnamon I get on this at all. It's good. It's great. I, I guess I do get a little bit. Of cinnamon, yeah, yeah. But... You definitely do, but it's not. It's not like some of the ones that. I, and it was that cherry because I was looking at that cherry on the last episode we did. Yeah. <clears throat> and there is some uh, cinnamon in that. This uh. This is fucking good, but uh, um, damn, this is a hell of an old. So this fashion. is great. Um, the the taste on this is really you get, like I said, the cinnamon. You get a lot of the uh, alcohol. Um, like you get the alcohol flavor too. Like you get that, uh, which is good in this. Like it's not. Right, it's not too over over alcohol, but you taste the alcohol, which is nice. Yeah. Sometimes it gets totally washed out. So everybody knows we always do the same recipe, you know, uh, pretty much with our whiskey uh, old fashions that we do on yeah. the show. The best we can um, be. Yeah. So far away. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, anyways, this this is just a phenomenal whiskey guy or whiskey, but ph phenomenal old fashioned. Yeah, it's great. Um. um Honestly, I'm going to give this some time. I'm going to let it settle before I write down my score. <clears throat> yeah, we got I do want to point out, though, <clears throat> my High West Distillery shirt. I got yeah. that. I also got a badass hat. I'm actually, I want to show you guys real quick. Can we grab it? It's a cool hat. I wish I would have bought it. Um, really nice hat. Yeah. So this is the hat, High West. Killer. It's kind of a flat bill, but. You know, it's a little bit bent. Yeah, you can, you can bend snap back. Yeah, you can bend a little bit. So, honestly, it's my freaking golfing hat. I love golfing in this hat just because the brim is so wide with this. Honestly, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't um, uh, block your vision very much, huh? Yeah. And honestly, I just, I, it's a great hat. I may order another one. That way, I have one that I just wear all the time and then a nicer one. That doesn't get all dirty and gross. Or, order me one, man. Order me one. <laughs> but yeah, we honestly we we got decked out while we were there. We got spoiled. 
High West was our very first stop coming into Utah, other than for Cody. Cody and Kelsey stayed in uh, Salt Lake for a night before we got there. Yeah, um, which was really cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. You know, we stayed in Salt Lake City at a nice hotel. Stay, uh, you know, talked to the, went to the bartender down there. We got to try like a lot of the, he, they had a lot of the local whiskeys. Yeah. Um, at the bar and we tried a lot of them right there. It was pretty cool. But yeah, so this, this place in Salt Lake was awesome. We got to ride around in scooters. Honestly, that was that was my fun favorite. part. That was, that my, was <laughs> one of my favorite parts of the trip, actually. Oh man, just I'm so glad me and Kelsey did that the first night, so that yeah. I was able to tell you about it, so that we did it that one day. Oh day. man, because honestly, dude, riding around on those little scooters are, is just so much fun. It's like being a kid, especially with a pack. You know, we're all cruising around down the street. You yeah, know, we're going downtown, and you know. Oh, don't we get me wrong. Stopped at the brewery, and then we, we played darts. That was killer. So much fun. And Went to that arcade place. The arcade. <laughs> so imagine this, guys. Four grown men playing on one big arcade game playing Ninja, Tur- Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah. We beat the game. We beat the – yeah, we beat the effing game. We spent, like, probably like 40 bucks on that game. <laughs> no, there's no way. There's Dude, no way. I had, Maybe. like – Honestly, uh, maybe total we've spent twenty dollars because it was like I don't know. I want to say know. I went through. I had well, I went through four quarters before I ran out, but I know I gave like Jordan some quarters. And, yeah, um, I gave uh, her. We all well, we all spread them out, but like between, I know I had like five dollars worth of quarters that I spread out for everybody. And yeah, then, and then the girls kept giving us more because <laughs> we were yeah, out. It was, it was so much <laughs> fun. Uh, I will say this I never thought or looking back on playing arcade games like Mortal Kombat I used to be so fucking good at and then I put in a quarter and I'm playing it I'm like wow I am dog shit at the arcade game (laughs) like I, I remember playing that as a kid literally going to the arcade I played it on Sega Genesis. Then, you know, they had them at every arcade at the time. Arcades were still big for us. And I remember doing so good. I would get, like, pretty close to championship every time. And this time, I could barely get out of the first round if I got out of it. Like, it was just, like, I don't know what to do. My old man hands just were, like, You know what's funny? After I – after we played that game – I actually felt like I think my hands were a little sore because like we were doing so much of this and like like yeah we were just and I was like why is my hand sore and then I was like yeah. oh fuck because we played the arcade for like an hour straight <laughs> yeah because the girls were like <laughs> are you done yet we're like we're almost done it was just fun uh, honestly perfect <laughs> perfect place to just go chill ride our scooters, get yelled at by a bunch of homeless people. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. I yeah. fucking had a blast. We had a scooters. blast on those damn scooters. Not so. gonna lie. Those things are fun as shit. Um, didn't think I would be that happy riding the scooter around, but... Uh, it was just like being a kid again. It was. I remember getting my first, like, Razor. I thought I was so cool. Oh, man. It was so funny watching... Andrea Ryder, she was so she loved it. Oh yeah, Jordan. but oh my gosh, freaking uh, Kelsey wrecked right in front of me. Oh. I was like, I'm gonna fucking crash right oh into God. her. I thought I was gonna just nail I, her. I don't know how she pulled that off the save. Like she saved herself, where I oh didn't have God. to do much to avoid her because was, if she would have just fallen, I would have like. I would have probably wrecked trying not to hit her. Yeah. And it would have just been a mess. But she f- semi fell, was able to get up, and I was able to just like correct and go around her. But nice. if she would have fallen, I would have just been like, here I go. I'm just yeah. fucking wrecking. I was so nervous because she's kind of like, 
you know, uh, unbalanced sometimes. So, so she, oh, dude, that's Michaela. Oh my god, I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna crack. But and then she did that, and I was like, oh my god. And then she pulled it off the save, like not, yeah, like, not. It was it, it was so good. Hard. It was clutch. Yeah, but um, but yeah, that was scary. That, that was, scary <laughs> that was so much fun, though. You, you should wear a helmet. Riding those damn things around. Dude, they go up to 18 miles. Yeah. They're up to 18 miles dude, an hour. I was rolling, dude. Like, Oh, <laughs> so the night you left and we went to the whiskey spot, I was like, I really want to ride one, a scooter one more time. That scooter <laughs> I got onto, I got up to like 7.5. So I was like 17.5. And oh, okay. I was like, fuck, I'm booking it. Yeah, dude. And you were getting up to 18. And yeah. I remember I was at like 16.1 on that one I had. <laughs> The fucking janky one, I would go, I would let die. off, I would go, it would just not, it wasn't consistent. This one, I was good on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it was that scooter, and everybody gave me shit for it. They're like, oh, you don't know how to work it, <laughs> you old man. <laughs> Everyone was just effing with you. It was so funny. I, oh, man, I'm... I got so mad. I was like, it ain't the fucking scooter, or it ain't me, it's a fucking scooter. <laughs> that was classic. <laughs> Uh, I, I knew it wasn't you. I knew it was a scooter, but uh, it was just funny. Everybody oh, was, man. Was but funny. I had a blast still, like, riding through downtown Salt Lake, going to that brewery, like you said, the arcade. Yeah. Anyways, other than that small little section, guys, riding those scooters, Salt Lake City, fucking blast. Definitely do it. Um, there's a couple breweries, the arcade bar, arcade bar. All time. So, what do you think about this review? So, I wrote down my score. Am and I? You're going to go first? Yeah, I go first. I gave it a 4.5. 4.5? 4. I, I don't think it was quite up to par as the American Prairie and Allegiant, but I think it was very freaking close. The flavor you get from this is phenomenal. And you know me. I, I want to stick to the even numbers. I, I, I think this one deserves the 4.5 on the old fashioned. Um, it, it's just good. I'll let you take it from here. Uh, yeah, this one I, uh, I enjoyed the old fashioned a lot. I uh, gave it a 4.4, so I was right okay. below you. And uh, that kind of fits the thing. I've been kind of below you the whole time, but. Um, it crept up on me on that one. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. By yeah. one. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. Um, yeah. But would you agree with me it wasn't as good, as, obviously, as no. the Legion or the American Prairie? No. But it has a really good flavor. Like, it was yeah. unique. and Yeah. It's great. Um, definitely one I'm going to make again. It's a... Uh, it's a spicy ride. I mean... Yeah. Uh, pretty much all I can say, and... You do get that a uh, little bit of the cinnamon and the spice, and uh, you do get the alcohol taste. You get some alcohol in there, which is nice. It's actually nice yeah. to have a a, a, a rock or a old fashioned with not a totally um, citrus or sweet. Taste. Well, yeah, completely wiped out whiskey. You know, it wipes, yeah. wipes out the alcohol. This one, you can actually taste a little bit of the alcohol, which is good. Um, that's part of the reason why my scores high 4.4 is high um so okay yeah well i'm at a 4.5 you're at a 4.4 what are you thinking which one would you be willing to go to leave it at 4.4 or 4.5 i can go to a 4.5 i mean it's below it's definitely below the uh the other two that we're talking about now if we were to compare it to uh to to uh lead slinger we gave lead slinger what a 4.2 so i mean you think it's that much above you know what? i'll go 4.4 overall your score i i would agree with that well i was just thinking about it i was like do we think no you're like right i was just i didn't even think about lead slinger um So it's let, let's go with a 4.4 because it is obviously not as good as uh, the other two. American Prairie, the other two. Legion but American 
I would say it is better than Red Singer. I do think yeah. Red Singer was better neat. So Red Singer is a little less. Um, it's a little less. It lost its flavor. flavor. Yeah, a little less flavorful. So like the old fashioned kind of takes over it. Yeah. Um, I remember talking about it on that episode because I was like, dude, is there even whiskey in this? Yeah. I remember that. And unlike the Red Slinger, it was still a nice taste. But this one, you can actually taste the whiskey and you can. I would agree with that 100%. So, so, so definitely, I like this more uh, than that. Okay. So, 4.4. Dude, I'm excited for this uh, Dead Man's, Dead man's boot. Boots. 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 Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, well, honestly, I say let's go ahead and get started on that. Um, I'm I'm excited. I want to get this one in. Talk a little bit more about uh, Utah, some of the stuff we did, and uh, you know, a little maybe a little bit more about High West, some of the stuff that we left out at the beginning of this episode. So yeah, so sounds good, man. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back with our uh, Dead Man's Boot. So this yeah. is the uh, High West Double Rye Whiskey. And uh, so I'll just kind of run through the ingredients real quick. We got an uh, ounce and a half of Double Rye uh, High West Whiskey, an ounce of the uh, tequila whiskey, the gold whiskey. And then we got or gold tequila, my bad. Uh, and then we, and then we got uh, half an ounce of fresh squeezed uh, lime juice, and then we got half an ounce of simple syrups, and then uh, garnish with the lime wedge, and then top off with uh, ginger beer. So yeah, that's so, what And here's mine. So. Hey, cheers, man. Last uh, last drink for this last drink High West Double Rye. Right. Cheers. High West, it's better be good. Thank you. Wow. I think this was Andrea that got this, because this is freaking good. It's good. Either Andrea or Kelsey, but I would imagine Kelsey would have remembered. Yeah, probably, yeah. I think it was Andrea. It had to have been. I don't know. This is good. It's pretty good. I was really nervous about the tequila. Even though I, I was kind of the one who selected this whiskey or selected this cocktail. Yeah, for me, it was either this one or the... Uh, I wanted to do a Manhattan. Maybe. Yeah. But, man, this one's good. Honestly... For everybody, we'll do it, man. We're gonna do a Manhattan on our next one. Yes, whatever um, it is. This one took me back to Utah, honestly, to the saloon. Which I gotta tell you guys. So, um, Park City, Utah, gorgeous place. Definitely go. It is expensive. Um, we were staying in Salt Lake, which is about forty minutes out. But. Salt or Park City is just gorgeous, and that's where their saloon is located. They call it the saloon. Yeah, that place. We'll share some more pictures uh, this week for this whiskey. That place was awesome. Um, I didn't want to leave; like, I wanted to explore it more. Uh, there's just so much to it. Um, like, food was great obviously but it was just the atmosphere of it was great uh at first it had that smell that weird kind of gross smell but once you find out what it is it's just old barn like wood yeah wood yeah so the obviously that old barn collected all the smell from the years but it, it, it fit the atmosphere and then like when we were leaving you i think it was you and i we found like that upstairs area and everything. It was yeah. awesome. Um, anyways, but like going even saloon was awesome. Go back to the distillery, which is about what, what would you say? 25 minutes away. It's right outside of Park City. 25, yeah. maybe 35 minutes away. 
Yeah, 25 minutes back. Um, but the actual distillery itself, guys, I'll tell you the story. It's not to dog on High West, but it's to explain our experience. So I called probably about almost three months, if not more, to schedule a tour. They were like, hey, we only schedule a month out. Okay. So I called, it was about 31 days because, or, yeah, it was about 31 days because the 30 mark was a, a weekend. I was like, are they open on the weekend? So I'll call them this weekend. But they were like, why don't you call back on Monday? You'll be fine, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. So I called Monday. I scheduled a tour. I talked to the lady. I don't know who I spoke with. I don't know her name. But I, I, I talked to her. I, we talked about the tour. She explained it to me, yeah. what they're doing right now due to COVID. Um, everything. And then I called. It was a week before we left. And that lady... I, I, I want to say it was the same lady. She even talked to me about the tour, explained everything again. And I was like, yeah, I was just wanting to confirm. We're all good. Confirm the time. And I was actually feeling the waters. And I asked about, ex, you know, pushing the time back about 30 minutes. But she explained to me that's just not possible, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, that's fine. We'll get there. We'll be there kind of thing. Because we're driving from Arkansas, Cody's from California. We're going to meet up here. So, anyways, Cody, Kelsey, we're up there about an hour. And um, we get up there. And they're like, oh, yeah, we got you, you know, guys over here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We go sit down. And this whole time, we're thinking tour. This is part of it. We're all just kind of sitting down at a table kind of atmosphere and the guy comes up the waiter and he's like asking for drinks and then appetizers anything like that I was like okay so I asked him I was like so what when's the like when are we get to try the whiskeys because I went ahead and ordered a flight because I was like yeah I want to drink their whiskey I love high west <laughs> And yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so we got we get all that and I asked him of that and he's like, Well, this is brunch. It's like okay, I didn't know you guys had brunch. Uh I signed up for a whiskey tour and his face was just like, Oh shit. And <laughs> he just was telling us like well, this is brunch, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, well, we signed up for the tour. And I was like, I didn't even know they had brunch, which is awesome because if i known they had brunch, that would have been a different planning scenario. Yeah. I would have probably, other than maybe Kelsey, I would have probably just had all the girls and all the girls probably would have wanted to go to brunch. And well, yeah, yeah. everybody else goes try the whiskey. It was two o'clock in the afternoon. Time we got there, two 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 thirty, and uh, that's when the tour started. And whenever I asked the guy, it was close to three. And I want to say thank you again, High West. You guys did a great job, and manager up there, phenomenal. I did not expect this. I wasn't bitching. I wasn't being a Karen or, or anything about it. I was just. You know, I, I let my waiter know what happened, and then... He took care of us, yeah. Yeah, he took <laughs> care of us, the waiter, and then the manager, they got us into the tour. We yeah. came in late. Uh, we were... They just finished with the first drink, so we weren't that late. No, yeah, we were... And what was the first drink? Wasn't it the campfire or the no, American it was Prairie. Prairie? American Prairie. Which was fine, because we already reviewed that, whatever. Um, I would have liked to hear more on that one just because we enjoyed that whiskey so much, but yeah. that's whatever. So we do the tour. Um, it's a, a sensory tour. So they're going, they, they're not doing a tour of the actual distillery where you get to walk through. They talk about it. They, 
sit you down in a classroom setting. They uh, have all the whiskeys poured out and they go one by one talking about the history, talking about the flavors and just everything about that whiskey one by one. And uh, well, there's four on a flight, but there was a fifth one, which is uh, we did uh, the old fashioned. The old fashioned cocktail that they made. Yeah. We did the old fashioned um, bottle, which to me is the best one they have. I, I'm not a bit the biggest fan of, of their Manhattan, but anyways, that old fashioned is good. So we, they go over that. They talk about talk about the history. You get to ask them the questions or him. It's a one gentleman, and learn a lot. That's where we learned uh, about their label or not their labeling, their batch number. Um, what else did we ask? There was something else we asked. Um, you know, I kind of forget. I don't remember everything, but uh, all I know is it was a really good setting. The people were really great. Yeah. Um, we had fun, and we enjoyed tasting their whiskey and learning a few things about it. Oh. And, um, Go ahead. Uh, you know, we already had, a, me and you already had, like, a whole flight before yeah, <laughs> we <Yeah>. did. But, <laughs> so I was like, oh boy. <laughs> but what, what I was going to say, like, hey, thank you to the couple people in that group that went ahead and gave us a follow if you're listening today. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. That was awesome. Yeah, that was really um, cool. We are very young in our uh, podcast you know, days. We're uh, pod Yeah, podcast, YouTube, everything days. And we appreciate it. We hope, you know. And if you're listening, please leave a comment. Let us know what you like, dislike. We need the criticism. We need to know what we're doing good and everything else. So if there's anything we could approve on, just let us know. Or if yeah. you like it, that's even, you know, that's great. But yeah, totally. You know, thank you for that follow, people. Yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, Anyways, go ahead. Uh, totally enjoyed the experience there, how it high was. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah, I started off a little shaky, but they uh, they stepped to the plate and took care of us and got us in there, and we had a good time. And um, the gentleman doing the uh, whiskey tour, going through all the histories and you know, the flavors and the whiskeys and why they do this, why they do that. And, uh, yeah, you know, when they're going to, we asked them some cool questions about UPKIA, if they're ever going to bring it back. That was oh, yeah, that was the other um, thing we did ask. And you know what? I, I, he didn't give us an answer, but I think they will bring it back. Yeah, way, but the way um, he described it, it's going to be most likely, he didn't tell us, but it almost ended at, it's going to be like, we once know. in a blue moon yeah. kind of deal. And then uh, what was the thing? He was like, oh, yeah, I wasn't uh, selling to what the numbers they wanted, so they just pulled it. Uh -huh. But then whenever they pulled it, it, like, everybody, went off the shelves. Yeah, because everybody I was, was like, like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty sure that was their ploy all along because if yeah. you look at all their bottles, I got a bottle that says limited edition. Yeah. Yeah. So they were, they're, they're just kind of, you know, they, they do, do that. that. They do that with all their whiskeys. They got limited editions of the, the prairie. Uh, that's like there's only four they make consistently. Yeah, and the prairie. Well, they even have a limited release of the prairie and the double rye that are like the reserve. Um, edition, yeah, yeah. I know what you. I never had, but. Uh, they do make limited review uh, uh, of those that I've yeah. seen. So, but anyway, yeah, anyways, it, it was all it was a, a good time. experience. The yeah. freaking like we talked about, I think a little we touched on it just a little bit in our last episode, but the uh, the food, the burger, 
the food was great. The burger was the burger was like top notch. I would love to just go get a burger from there again. <laughs> yeah, honestly, if I went back Damn. to the distillery, I would definitely just go for brunch. Like the tour was so, awesome, but so without walking around, it's just eh, it's we, good. Me and Robbie were like, ah, we decided to share a burger because we were. Oh we, yeah, that we already was... we already ate. Kind of like before we got there, kind of we had we weren't too hungry. Uh, that was a mistake because I was like half of this burger was like a bummer because I was like one in the other half. Um, yeah, I felt so, the same because it was so good. Oh my! <laughs> uh, but you know what? We uh, it was yeah, it was good. It was good. All right, man. So uh, we're kind of uh, ready to review this thing. It's uh yeah sit, sitting here for a little bit but uh we've digested a little bit yeah. i've already ran down my score for it so let's go yeah so so far it's i would say it's all right um i'm i'm kind of at a i would say like a 3.5 score um just wow. because yeah, just because um, I feel like all the other drinks that we've had have been uh, better to me. Uh, this one, yeah. this one's a little bit too sour, um, a little bit, I don't know, I'm not a big tequila guy. Um, See, but, yeah, I'm not getting the sap, like, too sour yeah. aspect. I don't feel it's refreshing. I think for this kind of weather, I feel like it's not refreshing for me. Um, I would agree. It's not the most refreshing, but it is good. It's it's decent. I wouldn't be opposed, say, if somebody was making it on a hot day. Like, yeah, that, 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 that sounds good. It wouldn't be like my go-to. Yeah, and I'm I'm trying to compare it to all the other like special, yeah, yeah. I, specialty I cocktails that we've done, and I'm and I'm thinking about it. I'm like. Uh, it, it's, it's not my favorite. Yeah. But, uh, okay. It ain't bad. I mean, I just, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not, See, I, I, I did go down. I went to a 4.0 cause I was like, it's not as good as the old fashioned or anything else. Like nowhere close honestly i would even go down to 3.8 i was bouncing back and forth on that yeah i settled on the 4.0 but anyways i I think it's a good drink it is in a sense it is refreshing but it's not the most refreshing yeah i had higher hopes but it is (laughs) pretty limey yeah, I was kind of disappointed a little bit. Maybe, but see, we, this is another maybe, one cut out. Honestly, even a, just do a quarter of the line. Here's the thing: maybe if we added, a, you know, it doesn't say how much ginger beer to add. So maybe yeah. if we had more uh, ginger beer in there, yeah. uh, it might dilute it and make it less limey. Um, and you know, so maybe that would help. Uh, we could also just drop or even the, drop the lime, but uh, it, yeah, just add the more whiskey because then the ounce and a half, I would almost just go ahead and do two ounces. Yeah, I mean, uh, for the drink that they request us to make, again, they don't tell us how much ginger beer to put in, but uh, we we put in, you know, I think me and Robbie both put in about an ounce, ounce and a half, which is yeah, uh, what. what you know, to, it says top it off. So that's what we did. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it was like a 3.5. And that's because I was comparing it to other cocktails that we've done that I've liked more. Uh, yeah. Not to say that this one's not, this might fit, you know, if you like tequila, you like this style of, this is almost like a margarita. I mean, I, I kind of get that margarita vibe. Um With the whiskey, it's actually not bad. I mean, I mean, it's not bad. It's 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 uh, three point five is not bad for a score. Yeah, like, 
So what do you want to settle on? Probably like a 3.8 or 3.6? Uh, you're at, you're at a 3.8, right? Yeah, well, I originally wrote down a 4.0 and then, you know, yeah, discussing it, 3.8. So we could go down to yeah. 3.6 or something. Yeah, I don't care. I could settle right in the middle of 3.7. I don't care. Um, I think 3.7 is respectable. Um, yeah. It's uh, right there in the middle. So, so we're going with a 3.7. Yeah. That's why I wrote down. All right. Yeah, that's 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 still not bad either. I no, mean, it's good. It's still, looks... it's still a good drink. Like, I mean, I would so not say. So what's our say... overall? Overall, we're at a uh, 4.2 for, for the three ways. So I didn't counter in the. Oh, that's right. We did discuss that on a previous episode. Yeah, so it's a 4.2. With the new yeah, yeah. on ice that makes sense. and old fashioned. 4.0, 4.2, 4.4. Which honestly, we may uh, over the wall of the weekends here, we may try with the Coke and break down our scores. What do you think? Will you do that? Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, it's yeah. not a it's not a it's not out of the Coke price range where I would even consider it, you know. So um, you know it's uh, still a cheaper like you know it's not too expensive whiskey it's no it's definitely one people would mix yeah exactly so so yeah i'd be down to do coke or a pepsi or whatever in it um, okay so 4.2 right now overall um this is a tough question i'm gonna put it on you right now put you on spot okay. right now if you were to choose which one you like more do you like lead slinger rye or the double? Oh, um, year round, I would definitely go Lead Slinger. I think that's all around the be better I, rye. I agree. I agree. But wintertime? Yeah. Cold, cold times, I'm going to go towards that double rye. Yeah. And but like, year like, round, like, I would go towards the double rye. Agreed. I agree with the 4.2. I agree. You know, double rye is neat. I thought it was really, it was good. On the rocks, it just got better. Old fashioned got better. It did, the drink we chose, Dead Man Boots, kind of fell off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that didn't affect our real score, but no, it, it uh, wasn't our favorite. It wasn't our favorite specialty cocktail that's for sure um agree but it wasn't bad it was uh it was decent like yeah you know and other people might like it more than we we do uh just depends on your taste buds and everything but yeah uh, yeah it's a good drink i would i would enjoy it you know but i those other ones that we've done pretty good too so yep um you got anything else to add robbie no that's pretty much it. Yeah. I hope you guys liked the episode. Uh, you know, give us a, give us a like, give us a follow. Um, try to uh, let us know, you know, what whiskeys you want us to do next or just uh, comment, you know, that, yeah. that, help, that helps us out the most. Uh, um, so we can give, give you guys the best content out there, you know. This was a great episode. I love High West Double Rye. Um, you guys finished pretty strong overall in my book. Um, you know, High West, continue doing what you're doing. And, you know, hopefully we'll see you guys again soon or soon, soon ish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, High West, and cheers. Cheers.